Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jade, and this is Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. I'm going to clear the resonance. All right. All right, Capricorns, welcome, welcome. Just glad you guys are here. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for being patient with me. I did not upload readings last week. I needed to recharge and um, just kind of spend some quiet time. So thank you for your patience. I am feeling very recharged and ready to go. I definitely missed doing your readings. Um, so I am super excited and I have a few that will be upcoming. And thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my other channel. I do really appreciate it and I will be uploading there shortly as well. Stay tuned for that. If you guys are in need of a personal reading, want to follow me on Instagram, send me an email, check the description box below. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to those of you who have ordered readings, sent me donations. It literally means a lot. So thank you. Okay? Ooh. Death and the Maiden just came out. Make sure you're keeping um, clear boundaries. Capricorns. I wasn't quite ready yet, but I did want to take note of that. Um, this is going to be your urgent love messages reading. All right, it's going to be for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please make sure you're checking your other placements. Okay, those can resonate as well. All of your placements um, should have some type of messages for you, all your main ones anyway, in, the, in, in readings. Okay, take what resonates, leave what does not. So for my Capricorns, please, what are their urgent love messages? What are they? My angel spirits and guides, show me what I need to see. What high is good for my Capricorn people, please? Sea storm. Calm amid the chaos. Let me see what else. Power of three, somebody's eyes opening, something about the fate, leaving the fates. This is also a nine. Faceless ghosts and the haunted girl. So we have common mid chaos the power of three with these three witchy sisters, right? Well, they're the fate weavers. Um, you might have somebody who ghosted you or something here with this faceless ghost and the haunted girl. Um, sometimes that's how it shows up. Usually that's a, that's a ghoster. Um, it's, you're looking calm amid the chaos here. Your eyes are open. You're, you're getting really clear on something. Show me more. Yes. Page of Wands. Two of Wands. Wow. So you're working on getting this um, like change in perspective. This might be really causing a lot of issues here with the Hangman and the Eight of Pentacles here, because we've got the Seven of Swords and Two of Wands with this Page of Wands. Um, you, you don't have to engage in this type of argument um, and go back and forth. You can you can cut this off, right? Or this person might have cut you off. Oh, this could be the ghost. I see. I see. What is this? Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Okay. This could be somebody you were in a relationship with or lived with or a family member who completely betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. It's also two tens. 
Wow. And the star. This can be healed. And there's something about the star and fate. Here's the emperor. What about this ghost? What is this ghost people? Four of Cups, Knight of Wands. Six of Cups. And the Emperor. You might have thought this was one thing, but it's actually another. Why did this slide under here? Wow. This High Priestess slid right under here. It's like, even though you're cut off, you still sense or can know, can see, can feel, and that's why you're calm amid this chaos, because you still have this, like, link or connection here. Lovers. King of Cups. Um, and we also have a King of Wands, so it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Justice, which is Libra. This is us talking about a balance between the emotions and the passions of this King. This Libra and Justice energy is coming in and allowing the scales to balance out to allow for this new beginning to come in. What else does Capricorn need to know? The star, again. So there could definitely be an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. This could just be hopes, dreams, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's the King of Swords. I blew all the cards. Oh boy, they're all a mess. That's okay. We'll see how they come out. Somebody needing to look within here with this hermit and the light. King of Cups in the world. So somebody's needing to like end, end the burdens with some type of situation that's at a distance or has ended, been cut off. Right? He just starts in the reverse. There's like conflict and drama over there. Yeah, there was like a, a pause while somebody had to release some burdens here. They maybe weren't willing to look at something about themselves, but here they are learning, gaining. Ace of Cups, here's this new opportunity. Wow. Yeah, somebody wasn't willing to put the work in, but now here's this new opportunity, Ace of Wands, to kind of refresh this energy of being left out in the cold. Wow. And an Ace of Pentacles. Multiple Aces there. In between, eh, not so good. So, oh, this also could be like third time's a charm or something. I mean, we have three Aces. It's weaving this new line of fate. Third time doesn't have to be a charm. It could also, you know, because I had somebody go off of me about that once. And I'm like, no, you're right. Maybe it could be, you know, enough's enough, too, for some of you. But, again, it's uh, collective. So, wow. There's going to be um, a new opportunity and it's looking very, very nice. Queen of Pentacles, right? Somebody who is nurturing, consistent. We have three aces. Right here, Ace of Pentacles, Cups, and Wands. That's a passionate new start, an emotional new start. You know what I mean? A new start. It could be an investment with money. It could be investment in the 3D, right? An emotional, passionate investment seed. 
there's been some issues here and there I'm seeing. Right, with this five of wands over here, the eight of pentacles reversed, ten of wands, like things have needed to um, shift the devil. This is card of Capricorn, right? Overcome any type of toxicities, right? Sadness and regret. Make sure you're healing that. Put some self-love and effort into you. Make sure you're meditating, focusing your energy, wow, and standing in your power. If you believe that, wow, the world, the emperor, the hierophant, strength, hermits on the bottom, another ace of wands, another tower. Some of you have had to walk away from some type of drama or situation is causing the wheel to turn and things to shift. Financial power and strength, decisiveness, as well as a spiritual strength that was found in the darkness somewhere. It's this Ace of Wands, it, it ignited some new um, surprise, shocking, um, This is all looking very, very good. It's like once you have healed whatever past issues or and you let it go, it's going to move this wheel forward. You'll be able to emotionally see clearly and, and wow, lots of financial good stuff coming as well, Capricorn. Everyone's got really good readings. Um, you should definitely check your other placements because I can't even remember what signs now, but a lot of them had a lot of major arcana, a lot of really crazy energy. So what else for Capricorn, please? So we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Wow. So, Capricorns, that is what I have for you. It seems like um, despite whatever bad stuff is happening... It's looking like things are, are coming into fruition and working out in your favor. Hopes and dreams coming true. Very, very good energy, okay? So work through it. Know that you're going through a lot of um, internal and external changes. All right? And try to endure it as best you can. All right, I hope this was able to uh, help you guys in some way. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right, much love. Bye.